experiment of thin lenses. The objective of this experiment to measure the focal length of converging lens, to measure the focal length of converging lens by the displacement method. The apparatus of this experiment is converging lens, optical bench, screen, light source. Convex lenses are thicker in the middle and focus light rays to a focal point in front of the lens. Convex lens forms an image where two or more rays cross after being refracted by the lens. If the image formed is real, it is inverted and can be formed on screen. The focal length of the lens, F, is the distance between the center of the lens and the point where the light rays are focused. In this experiment, distances are denoted as follows. F focal length, which is the distance between the center of the lens and the focus. D not object distance with the distance between the center of the lens and the object. DI image distance which the distance between the center of the lens and the image. The lens formula. Lenses experiment we are going to use a lens this is a lens and we need to measure the focal length of this lens using three different methods. The first method is an approximate method. We will focus the light on the ground, then we will measure the distance between the center of the lens and the uh, sharp image. I will show you how. Okay, I am now having the uh lens in my hands i can move the lens up and down above the ground this is the image of the light in the ceiling so i will move the uh, lens like this until i get the sharpest possible image then i will measure this distance using a, ro a ruler so i will measure it and i will tell you what is the result Okay, I have measured the focal length by the approximate method and uh, it says 19.5 centimeters, which is 195 millimeters, 195 millimeters. Now, we will measure the focal length by a different method. We will use a light, we will put the lens here and the screen at the other side and I will move the lens forward and backward until I get the sharpest possible image on the screen which is this one now that the image is the sharpest image this is the lens this is the light the light represents the object and this is the lens and this is the image now the distance between the light and the lens is the object distance which is DO and the distance between the lens and the screen is the distance of the image which is DI. So I will write down these results in the report. Then I will make another reading. How can I make another reading? I can change the distance between the object and the screen like this. Then I move this, the, the lens until I get the sharpest possible image. Yes, yes, this is the sharpest possible image. Then this is another reading. This is another value of DO and another value of DI, the image distance. Then I will change the distance of the light from the screen again and I will form another sharp image on the screen by moving the lens. I'm moving the lens now. 
Okay, this is the sharpest possible image. So I will record down the distance of the object again and the distance of the image again. I will write down these values on the uh, table. Then I will show so you. So I recorded for you now this approximate value by measuring the distance between the lens and the sharpest image on the screen. And now for the second part, I recorded the values. These are three different measurements for the distance of the object and the distance of the image from which you are supposed to calculate three different values for the focal length. Then you calculate the average value of the focal length of this lens. Now we will go to the third part. Okay, now in this third part, uh, guys, we will measure the focal length of this lens by third method. This third method is called the displacement method, which is part three here measuring the focal length by the displacement method. What is the displacement method? In fact, it's the same setup as the second part. You can see this is the object, this is the lens, this is the screen. Now I will do the following. I will move the lens until I see a sharp image on the uh, board here. Okay. Then I will see where's the location of the lens which is here at 85 then i will move the lens again closer and closer and closer until i get another sharp image at another location which is this one this is another sharp image at a different location which is what at 26 at 26. So remember the first location was at 85 here and the, the other location is at 26. The difference between them is how much? 59 centimeters. This 59 centimeters between the two locations of the two images is called D here in the graph you can see. So this is the first location where the first image is formed this is the second location where the second image is formed. These are not two lenses. It's the same lens. This is the location where the first image is formed. This is the second location where the second image is formed. And the distance between them is uh, D, which is in my measurement was 59. So I should write that D is 59. While X is the entire distance from the screen to the object, which is in my case, this is the object at 110 and the screen here at zero. So in my case, X is 110 and D is 59. So I will write down these values. Then I will repeat this experiment again. By doing what? I will move this light to the equation of 100. So now X becomes 100, which is the distance from the screen, the total distance to the object. Then I will form two images. First image in this location, this one. I record 74, the location. Then I find the other image. This is the second image, and the lens is placed at 27. Between 27 and 74 is 47 centimeters. So D is 47, X is 100 centimeters. Now I will move to 95 centimeters, or let's say 90 centimeters. I will form two more images. This is the first one. The location is 61.8 and the second image is formed 
when the lens is placed. Okay, this is the second location at 29, which makes D equals 32.8 centimeters. This is the final table with all the data inside. Now you need to calculate x squared minus d squared. This is x and this is d. x squared minus d squared. And for each measurement, you calculate f from this formula. x squared minus d squared over 4x. So you will get three values of f from which you can calculate the average value. And you will calculate f also from a graph. You need to plot x squared minus d squared versus x and find the slope. Then from the slope, you calculate the focal length. According to this formula, in fact, the slope should equal 4f. So this is the formula which can be written as x squared minus d squared equals 4fx, which looks like the equation of the straight line with y equals x squared minus d squared, and the slope m equals 4f. So we will draw a graph, put x on the x-axis and x squared minus d squared on the y-axis. You will get a straight line, the slope of this straight line must equal 4f. So to calculate the focal length, you need to divide your slope by 4. This is the end.